from the red zone. We missed a field goal. Um, those are all the points, you know. And then we, um, after we had some momentum going, we had those pre-snap penalties that just killed us and got us backed up, you know. But uh, we left some points out there, you know, whether it was drop passes or, or the turnovers um, that, that hurt us. You just can't do it. And the Seminoles will have to get things together quick. Hosting Syracuse for homecoming on Saturday. Kickoff is set for 2.30 on ESPN2. Now, in other Florida State news, Panama City Beach was the home for some Seminoles today. The beach volleyball team hosting a round robin tournament at Russell Fields Pier. We spoke to the Knowles on why this trip is beneficial for future success. Florida State, Georgia State, and the University of Alabama at Birmingham spent their weekend in Panama City Beach. Have one of our fall competitions. Um, usually, what we're doing yeah, is cool. drive. Oh, it was beautiful sites and play some other collegiate teams on a one day event. Uh, the Knowles using the Sands in Bay County as their home court on Sunday. Head coach Brooke Niles says the white sand is something her team doesn't see as often as people think. Where we are on our campus, we have some beautiful courts in Tallahassee, but we don't have the elements. On campus, uh, on the courts, it's very, it's easy to focus because it's just the courts there. And here on the beach, you have so many different elements. You've got a lot of people walking around, a lot more people watching. Um, the ocean, the birds, the wind, the sun, really. So it's it's a lot more exciting playing on the beach, honestly. While no medals were given out, Niles says the players are now better prepared for postseason play. But our national championship is at Gulf Shores, which is not too far away from here, and it's pretty similar to this. So this year, actually, with our scheduling, we try to dedicate a lot of the time to playing on real beaches that are very similar to that um, experience we have at Gulf Shores. Waiting an extra day to play due to Tropical Storm Nestor, Niles believes her team is always ready to represent the garnet and gold, no matter the circumstance. So they were ready for anything. Um, I think, you know, you'll find a lot of beach volleyball athletes just have amazing attitudes and their work ethic is unbelievable. The Seminoles will head to Gulf Shores on this coming Saturday for a day of competition and hopefully will head back to Alabama in May of 2020 to compete for a national title. Now looking to high school sports, it's Sunday, which means it's time to meet our Scholar Athlete of the Week, sponsored by Perry and Young. This week, the title goes to Graceville's Tanner Spooner. The quarterback is in his first year with the Tigers. He was a Mariana Bulldog previously, but his family relocated after Hurricane Michael. Graceville has had a historic season so far. Right now, they are 5-2, and two, and head coach Barry Gardner said Spooner is a big reason why. He quickly earned the respect of his new teammates and boasts a 3.5 GPA, so he leads them both on the field and in the classroom. It's hard to do it because after practice you're tired, but you got to do it to be able to play in college. So you got to have grades up. Just the little bit of time I have, I just use studying. I think it all goes together. If you got use a good grades, you use a pretty good on the football field as far as your assignment, alignment, and stuff like that. So he's picked on real fast. When we got here, we know we got here late, July the 22nd, and uh, it was a quick learning curve for him, but he did well with it. We will learn more about Spooner tonight at 10. And remember, if you have someone you'd like to nominate to be our scholar athlete, you could do so at mypanhandle.com. And in more high school news, Mosley taking on Milton and Tommy Oliver Stadium. Last Thursday, the Dolphins came up short, but one athlete made a play that stood out from all the others. It's from there at that game we find our play of the week sponsored by Southern Chevrolet Dealers. It's the junior wide receiver, Nijay Gray, prepared to return this pun. He lets it roll a little bit, but then it's just he who's rolling. Gray does the work, getting all the way down the field for an impressive 67-yard return. Now, Gray didn't get all the way to the end zone, but still he had his team and the fans excited.